Got a mail bag. One, two, three, four, five, six packages. Oop, knock the stuff over. Push those over here. Start with this first one. It says storage rack. I have no idea what I bought. Oh. <laughs> All right. This is a bobbin. This is a bobbin storage for sewing bobbins. Only problem with this is I didn't realize this didn't close against the only the bottom half is full and there's nothing like there's nothing on top because it's made for bobbins. But I thought this would be interesting to use for SMD sorting because the bottoms of each component of each uh, piece there's nowhere for things to fall in between them, which is nice. Sometimes it's a problem with these. And um, it's curved, so it should be easier to get parts out. There's no corners. So I thought I'd check that out. They were cheap enough. And uh, I'm always looking for novel ways to store different things. This might wind up serving some other purpose that it's uh, suited for. If not, well, well. Next package, a uh, converter. I always like when things are nice and packaged. Um, hmm. Not sure why I bought this. I have tons of programmers. This is a USB to serial, it looks like. Probably a CHG, I'm going to guess it's, I can't read it, either it's sanded off or it's not marked. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a, just a CHD, CHG 340. Um, I don't know what's so special about it. Maybe I just take bought with it to check the pin out. Or to play around with this chip. I don't have any of that or this. All my, all my uh, programmers are. All my programmers are CP210 series, and uh, I have had problems with the ones that have built-in CH340s with their speed not going up to 921, so I wanted to test this out and see if it was a limitation on the chip or the crystal or maybe just bad implementation on the board, so that's what I got that for. I think that's pretty sure that's what I got it for. Uh, controllers and attachments. super soft. I don't know what these are. I saw them. They were silicone caps for something. And I always thought it's oh I always need some cap for something. Something needs to be capped. And the fact that these were silicone was kind of cool because it means they can stretch a little bit. And it's good for putting on the ends of things that are uh, unfinished or sharp or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember what these were. I think this is for the feet. For feet. Some kind of feet. I don't know. I saw them. They were cheap. Bought them. Alright, next. Mm, terminal blocks. Uh, this is some kind of chip. Some kind of module. I think this is a temperature humidity module. I think it's the HTU 20, 20 maybe? 20? HTU 20, not 21? There's something different about it. That's why I bought it. Um, or maybe it's something else. Let's see what it says on here. It says uh, 871R. Um, it doesn't say what it's marked as, but it's either an SI7021, an HTU21D, an SHT21, an SHT20, HDC1080. I think it's the SI7021, because I don't have any of those. Temperature humidity sensor. So, I just bought that to test that out. 
see how it compares to the SHT series. The HTU uh, 20, 21 uh, ones I already have. I don't know if the footprint's the same. I think it might be. That's a temperature sensor humidity module. All right, next. Other thermometers. I guess this is a thermocouple. Yep, it's a, oh no, this is thermocouple wire. K-type thermocouple wire. I think it's like a meter, maybe, maybe three meters. It's one or two meters, I think. One to three meters. Uh, you can use this to make extensions or you can actually braze. I don't know if you, um, I think you need a acetylene torch maybe. Uh, is type K aluminal, aluminal chromol? But uh, you need to be able to melt the two, twist them together and then melt them and create a, a bead on the end to connect it. Sure, there's other ways to do it, but I think that's the preferred way. Or I don't know if you use a different metal or you use the same metal. Uh, not really sure. But I just thought that buy that to have it so I can make my own if I wanted to, or I could just make some longer. Because you have to use the same wires for the whole length. All right, next is other wire cables and connectors. That's awfully specific. All right, these are some ter DIN terminal blocks. These are... I don't know how these are different than the ones I already have. I have pass-throughs. Why did I buy these? Maybe they sent me the wrong thing. Because I already have these in gray, a whole bunch of them. Maybe I ordered the wrong thing. I think I thought I was buying end caps. Hmm. Not entirely sure. Maybe I just bought these in case the other ones sucked. Maybe I bought the other ones as... Uh, maybe I bought these. I know why I bought these. I bought gray ones for power, and then I bought blue ones for data. If I wanted to break out data on a DIN rail. I think that's what I did. They were cheap. But I have to make sure, I'll, I'll double check to make sure because I thought I ordered some more stuff too. So that's it for now, just a short one. Till next time. Peace.